I have been learning computer science at university for over three years now, and I have gone from literally knowing nothing to simple games, console programs, and even making my own game engine. This is three years of computer science at university. I started my journey all the way in 2020. I know, that's long ago. A few months before that, I submitted my university application. It got accepted and I was about to start. I had the best two weeks of freshers where I went out every day and got completely wasted. But then everything fell apart. A certain virus swarmed the world and, well, my university closed. This meant that I had to do online lessons for pretty much the whole year. But still, here's everything I did in year one, just online. My first class was mathematics. It started off super easy as they just wanted to bring everyone up to the same speed. So to be honest, I kind of slept through those lectures. I also have like no evidence of any of this work because I threw my notebooks out long ago. <laughs> all I know is I got a 76%. My second class was all about C++. It was meant to introduce us to it and teach us as much as it can. We basically had to create a program every week. So, homework. It was all console programs, but the difficulty amped up every week. So week 1 we learnt about variables and operators, and week 15 we had to make a full banking system. At the end of the semester it was graded and I got an 82%. The next two classes were both game related. One wanted me to create a game using the SDO library and C++. Here I created a Mario Bros clone. The class taught me everything from drawing things onto the screen, implementing an animation system, adding in audio, etc. I even managed to add local multiplayer. Class 2 also wanted me to create a game, this time with OpenGL slash FreeGlot. I ended up making a Pac-Man clone. This game was more advanced than the previous one as I implemented map loading from a text file, different AI models and a saving system for high scores. I ended up getting a 90% for game 1 and 95% for game 2. The final class this year was a class about professional conduct. Not gonna lie, it was really boring and it was basically just teaching us about LinkedIn, work, etc. At this point, I was nearly finished with year one, just needed to sit a few exams. But because of the virus I mentioned earlier, I sat them all online. I had a maths exam which I got 89% on, as well as a C++ exam which I got 90% on. So now year one was officially complete. Fast forward to year two, things slightly normalized as I had actual lessons in person but lectures continued to stay online. One of my first classes was making a graphics engine in DirectX 11. I have a full video dedicated on this on the channel for those interested, but to quickly run down, I implemented both 2D and 3D rendering, had objects loading in, created some shaders like this water thing and a texture displacement shader, I even had a basic terrain generation system. For this class I got an 89%. Following this class, I was tasked to take the graphics engine skeleton and transform it into a physics engine. Again, I have a video on this on the channel, which will be a common theme from now on. The physics engine had a rigid body system, different forces, collisions, etc. And I got 70% for this class. Now, if you yourself aren't at university, or maybe you are but you want to improve on your programming skills, or any skills for that matter, then today's sponsor Brilliant is the answer. Brilliant helps you get smarter every day, with thousands of interactive lessons in maths, science, programming, data analysis, and AI. Brilliant is a learning app designed to be uniquely effective. Each lesson is filled with hands-on problem solving, which is much more effective than watching lecture videos. Everything on Brilliant is also crafted by teachers, researchers, and professionals. Brilliant helps you build your critical thinking skills through problem solving and not memorizing. So while you're building real knowledge on specific topics, you'll also be becoming a better thinker. Learning a little every day is one of the most important things you can do, and it's a great way to actually retain knowledge. And well, Brilliant helps you do that. Whether you're at home or on the go, you can always use the Brilliant app wherever you go. I've tried a little of everything on Brilliant at this point, but I can highly recommend the maths courses to get up to speed and even go beyond that. So to try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash zyger or scan the QR code on screen, or alternatively you can click the link in the description. You'll also get 20% off of an annual premium subscription. Now let's continue. Class 2 was mathematics again, but this time the difficulty really got hard. I could no longer sleep through the classes and actually needed to revise. We had generic maths like calculus, trigonometry, etc. and also more specific maths for things like algorithms. The only evidence I have of this is these old whiteboard pages, so here you go. And for this class I had to actually sit an in-person exam now 
and got 73%. Class 3 was all about networking, where I had to create a chat system in C-sharp. This involved making the client slash server architecture, creating an actual chat system, and then having to add advanced features like a complete synced paint application, and even a game of rock, paper, scissors. At the end of it, I got 91% for this class, and again, a video available for that on the channel. Class 4 was a class about data. I had to make a program that could load in millions of pieces of data, sort them, and then output them in a nice manner. I also had to learn about multi-threading here to speed the process up. I actually don't have a video on this project, but I did get an 87%. Oh, I almost totally forgot. I did sit a physics exam this year, which didn't go very well, and I only got like 65%. And with that, year two was actually complete. Now, I should mention that between year two and three, I had a year placement at Sea of Thieves. Again, video available for that on the channel. And then after that, I had a year break. But finally, in 2024, I started my year three of university. My final year started off with class 1, where I had a physics simulation that I had to optimize. This involved creating things like memory pools, using multi-threading, creating diagnostic tools, and even implementing octrees for collisions. There also happens to be a video on this on the channel, but at the end of the class I got an 83%. Class 2 was advanced graphics, and here I had to make yet another graphics engine. This time I was able to choose the framework, for which I chose DirectX 11, since I like it. The class also had a much stronger focus on advanced features, like normal mapping, deferred rendering, different shaders, etc. I also have two videos available for this on the channel. For this class, I ended up getting 73%. Class 4 was a group project where me and seven other people had to make a 2D game engine. This involved making everything basically from scratch. The only thing we were allowed to use was a framework for the graphics, so we went with DirectX 11. The engine had everything from rendering, physics, audio, UI, and more. At the end of it all, we also made a little Worms game demo with our engine, to show off everything it can do. I will also be making an in-depth video on this very soon, so subscribe to not miss it. And coincidentally, I got my marks for this class today, and I got a 97%. My final class for the year was the Big Dissertation and Artifact Project. Basically, I had to think of a project that I wanted to make, then I had to make it, and write a 12 to 15,000 word thesis on it. The project had to be something somewhat advanced, but generally it could have been anything, but obviously programming related. For my project, I ended up making an adaptive chess AI. Basically, it's a chess engine that assesses your playstyle in real time, and then adapts itself to match your level. I kind of have a video about this on the channel, but I didn't talk about the adaptiveness part or anything like that, so maybe I will redo a video about it. Once the project was finished, I also had to write this long thesis on it and conduct a bunch of tests. But in the end, I was super happy with the results as I got a 95%. So university at this point was finished. I'm due to graduate next month and I couldn't be happier about it. Just a disclaimer, this video is not intended to be a brag. I just wanted to be completely transparent and show you everything that I did at university. For those wondering what university I went to, it's Staffordshire University in United Kingdom. And my particular course is Computer Games Programming. That being said, if you are interested in the same course, do have a look at the course outline as I believe parts of it have changed since I went there. As for whether I recommend university or not, I believe it's different for everyone else. I particularly like university and it taught me a lot, but I also understand that it's not for everyone. Either way, this is the end of the video, so please leave a like and subscribe if you've enjoyed. And to try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash zyger or scan the QR code on screen. Or alternatively, you can click the link in the description. You'll also get 20% off of an annual premium subscription. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!